Hello, my name is Naranjan, the host of Master of Your Crafts podcast. Learning from leaders who are continuously inspired, passionate, and driven to align with their soul purpose, sharing their gifts to bring healing to others. The music is composed by Rebecca Everett. Today is episode number 64, and I will be reviewing some of the delicious conversations that I've had over season three, and the variation of individuals who have unraveled and shared so boldly their experiences, not only in life, but some of the skills, the gifts and tools that they use, that they've crafted as their mastery while on this planet at this moment of time. For example, the conversations with Shelley, diversity and equity is so crucial of part of who we are as individuals. But also the conversations with our grandmother and our elders and uncles who have highlighted their existence and shared their wisdom as they did with Tiffany on her journey of yoga and practice and coming into our own selves. Just as it also did with Gibran, who shared his gift and shared and highlighted the injustice about the world that we live in today. And with the world that we live in today, Lisa shared her relationship about money and the energy and the vibrational frequency that it carries because it's such a crucial tool that we need to navigate life today. And Ruth shared her own journey of the spinning wheels of spin cycle of that inward spinning that happened, even though it was happening in a physical space too. Creating a community of support and empowerment. While Terence also shared his true words of wisdom that were nurtured and garnered through his own community of family, and nurturing, and channeling those through the poetry, poetry of love, and diminishing the stigmatism around a masculine, sharing such a heart-centered, sweet words of love, but also expanding that as we discussed with David, the relationship with plants and how that is so much more wiser than we are as human beings. Danielle shared her creative abilities in translating thoughts and visions but also growing a community of creativity to serve a need and a community, a technical world out there that we live in. Dr. Yoho really shared his wisdom and his passion for the injustice that's happening in our world, especially in the healthcare system and how he's 20, 30, 40 plus years in the industry as a doctor has influenced how we navigate the world, but also the tools in which we are presented of what we feel are some of the best tools to navigate in 
but might not be. Ross then talked about dying with dignity and honoring one's journey, but really reflecting on the true gift of life and how that is amplified through this beautiful thing called time. How it's so precious, so limited, but we give it away so easily. Carmen went back to her roots to a certain degree in spinning and learning something that was not innate in her but others saw that beautiful gift within her. As we see these innate abilities that each of us have and recognize that we have within ourselves, just like Della did in his artistry, it can become challenging because it becomes part of us. And we often seek recognition or an element of acceptance from others around us. So to become more conscious, as we discussed with Mansi, in conscious businesses, to come more aware, to create a more balanced future by having balanced individuals operating and working for a greater good, a greater outcome, a greater purpose, in the businesses that we, we utilize and require for many of our day-to-day -day needs every day. Or we can take the matters into our own hands as a conversation unraveled with Christian about sovereignty and being human and looking at the humanness and how to navigate that in the world that we live in today rather than it being an element of control or an element of greed. Tom brought a beautiful combination of what is happening with the unseen world, but also when life happens to us, it changes the lens in which we operate in the world the quantum fields of energy that we have access to us is becoming more online and more accessible to the average person if they choose to see it. And then the beautiful conversation with DDS, bringing in a very structured industry of therapy, but bringing it into balance with the energetic aspects of life and the energetic healing powers that we all have. The tandem of West and East and how they meet and how they can work together in balance and in harmony. from the harmonious tunes and voices and vibrational frequencies to the conversation with Ashton, who's all about rhythm and who's all about storytelling from his lived experiences in rural parts of America and how he's paving the way for individuals so they can see a brighter future with rhythm and music, an innate part of who he is and who his lineage and his culture has become. To William, having a candid and open discussion about the relationship we have with money and how important it is for what it can do, but 
creating a balance of how we can serve others too from an empowered place, from a loving space. Because what we know is time is short and time is possibly the most precious thing that we have on this planet. It was clearly highlighted in Bob's experience having a life-changing event of possibly losing a life makes you want to enrich and relish every single moment of it. But sometimes this thing called life can be really challenging. And getting caught up in the systems of the world can take us off guard and forget what truly matters and where our power truly lies, just as it did with Jamal. The words of others have lasting impact on how we move through the world and the decisions that we choose to make. So these beautiful conversations and interactions and engagements that I've had with each of these individuals for season three are cherished in each of these conversations. So I'm trusting and inviting you to listen and reach out to them for support, for wisdom, for lessons and learnings. Because each of us have a purpose here. I am truly grateful for each of the conversations that I have with these individuals and the many, many conversations that are yet to come for season four and beyond. But as you hear these dialogues and are curious possibly to unravel some of your pain points, as you seek out more peace and more joy and more laughter, I invite you to reach out to myself if you feel called to unravel some of those heavy aspects called life, to bring online some of your intuitive, your innate abilities so you can enjoy the good of life. I can be reached at brightshininglight.com and you're welcome to book a free discovery call. I want to thank every single person who I've interviewed, for every single listener, for your time, attention, and energy of exchange. I'm looking forward to season four and sharing with you some of the delicious conversations that I've had and will continue to have as I expand my awareness and open up to possibilities to having some really interesting conversations to meet people from all walks of life because everybody has a purpose. And I would like to highlight that purpose and share that with each of you. Thank you so much. I'll see you in season four. I'm Naranjan and you've been listening to Master of Your Crafts podcast. Please subscribe, rate and review and join me next week for another episode. Thank you for listening.